Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that all bell notification. In that way, you won't miss any time I publish a new video. So what are we going to be making today? Well, today we'll be making a chickpeas with cabbage and other veggies curry. So let's get started. All right, so these are the ingredients that we're going to use in order to make our uh, chickpeas with cabbage and other veggies curry. All right, so here I have my chickpeas that I already rinsed out. This was in the tin, so I rinsed it out already. So we have one tin of the chickpeas. Here I have grated some coconut. So you can grate your coconut. Um, I have some onion, some carrots, which I'm going to grate now. I have about one, two, three, four, five, six seasoning peppers that we're going to cut up. And of course, we have our cabbage. Okay, so we're going to get to grating the, um, the carrots. So I also have um, some ginger garlic paste that I made. I will leave a link in the description showing you how I made that, that I'll also be adding to it as well as um, some green seasoning that I made with some green herbs for my garden. Um, so I'm also going to be adding that to the curry as well. But what I'm going to do now is take you guys outside with me so we can pick some shadow bene so we can also add to our curry as well. All right, guys, so this is the shadow bene here. So let's get a few leaves, a couple leaves. Right, so I think this should be good. Okay, so let's get to grating the carrots. I'm going to do that first. I'm going to just add it to the coconut here. So we're going to just grate it like this, using this part of the grater. Right, guys, I'm going to prep everything, cut up everything, get everything prepped, and then I'll be back. Okay guys, so I have everything prepped here. As you can see, I have my grated carrots and coconut. I cut up my shadow bene, my cabbage, my onion, my seasoned peppers, my drained chickpeas, and we're also gonna be adding some raw peanuts to it as well. So let's head over now to the stove so we can start putting everything together and the other items, I will add it as I'm cooking. Okay, so let's add some coconut oil to our pot here. And we're going to add in our onion and seasoning peppers to saute. Just going to make a little space in the middle there. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to add one tablespoon of curry powder. Okay. And I'm also going to add one tablespoon of the Malay chicken biryani curry spices. Okay. So we're going to add, we're mixing two types of curry powders. The Malay chicken biryani spices has a little bit of heat in it. If you don't want any heat, then omit this particular um, spice, which is the biryani spice, if you don't want it spicy. It, I mean, it's not very, very spicy, the Bombay chicken biryani spice mix is very spicy. The Malay is in between. And then there's one that is slightly not as um, spicy, which is the pale out um, chicken biryani spice mix. It's not as spicy. But anyway, we want to just saute these spices for about two minutes. Now what I'm going to do as these spices are blooming here or as we are sauteing these spices here I'm going to add some of my raw peanuts to it because I want to give it enough time to cook. So the peanuts add some extra protein to our dish. 
and crunch. Okay, so that should be good. I'll just coat everything. Okay, I also need to get some dried curry leaves, which I'll add now as well. Some dried curry leaves. In the yes, let me add some of it to it. Okay, that should be good. All right, so guys, I'm going to leave this to um, saute a bit, and then I'll be back. All right, so let's add in now our veggies so that they can cook. We're also gonna add in the chickpeas and then we're gonna add some coconut milk. All right, we have to mix everybody together. So we're gonna let the coconut milk help us. Combine everything, marry all of the flavors. I'm gonna add now the ginger garlic paste as soon as I finish mixing this a little bit. I want everything to be mixed in that sauce. Um, if I need to add a little more liquid, I'll add a little bit of chicken broth to it. And of course, we also will have to taste for salt at some point in time. All right, so let's add the ch ginger garlic paste. I need to make some more of my ginger garlic paste. I'm going to add some of my green seasoning. It's about one tablespoon of green seasoning. All right, so we're gonna mix everything again. Let me add a little bit of the chicken broth. Make sure everything has enough liquid to cook. All right, so I will add a little bit of salt at this point in time. So guys, as you can see, this is a complete meal right here because you're getting protein, both from the peanuts and the chickpeas. And then you're getting fiber and other nutrients and vitamins from the carrots, from the cabbage, from the coconut. So it is a full meal right here by combining all these things together. All right, so I'm gonna get a cover, cover this and leave this to cook. Okay guys, so you know I like to balance off salt with sweet. So I'm also gonna be adding some sugar to this as well. Personally, I'm using jaggery powder, which is a raw cane sugar. I'm gonna add some of that to it. And I'm also going to add some ground cumin powder and ground coriander powder as well. So I'm just going to add some ground coriander. Let me get my cumin. I'm also going to add some ground cumin as well. Let's mix everything together. And of course, we're going to have to taste the salt again see if we need to add any more salt. Let me put some of the sauce in my hand so I can taste the salt. Okay, so we could add some more salt to this. All right, so guys, basically our chickpea with cabbage and other veggies curry is in essence finished. I mean, we just wanna dry down some of the liquid. Again, that is dependent on you. You might want to have a lot of liquid, you might want less liquid, so that all depends on your preference, and um, just do it to suit your preference. All right, so at the end, I'm gonna add now my shadow bene. Guys, there's something else I just thought about that you can add, is a bay leaf and some cinnamon. So, as I allow this to burn off some of the liquid, I'm gonna let the bay leaf and the cinnamon 
infuse my dish. Of course, when you're doing yours, you would want to put your bay leaf and your cinnamon in the early stages of cooking. I forgot about it and I just remembered. So I said I was going to add it, but I want to let you guys know so that you can also add it to your dish as well. <music>